stop doing that? It's Patri back again with another video. Today I've got the September TBR for y'all and since September is Hispanic Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th, I will be reading books by Hispanic authors, Latinx authors, as well as Spanish in books. Mm, books in Spanish, sorry. First, I want to go through the Latinx-a-thon. If you don't know what the Latinx-a-thon is, I'm going to link some videos down below so you guys can check out who so you guys can check out the creators of the tag, what the tag entails, and the prompts. I'm very, very passionate about reading books in Spanish and reading books by Hispanic authors. I think it's so important and I want to see it more on the booktube community. So without further ado, let's get right to it. The first prompt is voices. Read a book by a black and or indigenous Latinx author. My cat's right here. For this prompt, I picked Show and Proof by Sofia Quintero. Sofia Quintero is an Afro-Latinx uh, Puerto Rican, I believe, who grew up in the Bronx. Um, I'll link everyone down below and I'll make sure I say where they're from properly. Second prompt is Latinidad and it's read a book by an intersectional Latinx author. For this, I picked Life is Wonderful and People are Terrific by Melissa Bañales. The third prompt is Roots. Read a book in more than one language or that has been translated into more languages. For this, I picked Cien Años de Soledad by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Please ignore this very ugly sticker. I got this from the library for like less than a dollar, I believe. And I love it. It was my favorite book for the longest time. And then I spilled coffee all over it. I don't know if you can tell very well, but... I'm pretty heartbroken about that, but I still have the book, it still works, so I'm gonna read it. I started reading this a couple years back and I got like 100 pages in and then I stopped and I've always wanted to continue because I love Gabriel Garcia Marquez writing and I'm just super excited that I'll get to it. The fourth prompt is Heritage, read a book by a non... <laughs> read a book by a Latinx author from a non-Spanish from a non-Spanish speaking country. And for this, I picked The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. And I thought this was good because it's pretty big. It's not biting me. I've been wanting to read this book for years. It's a fast read. It's been on my shelves for a long time. So yeah, he's from Brazil, it counts. And I'm excited. The fifth prompt is the Latinx Takeover. It's Read the Group Book, which is by any means necessary. I'm not sure who the author is. I'm still not sure if I'll be able to read this just because I'd have to buy it and I have a lot of books that I've bought recently and I'm trying not to buy more. Now I'm going to be going through my regular TBR. I'm trying to stick with books in Spanish mostly just because it's something I love reading and I feel like I don't always have the time to so I can force myself to right now. One of the books I plan on reading this month is Labyrinth Lost by Soraya Cordova. She also has the following book Bruja Born and I'm also planning on reading that. Then I plan on reading La Ultima Niebla by Maria Luisa Bambal. I've read La Mortajada when I was younger, like five years ago, and I've always wanted to read the first half of this book, so there's two novels in it, and I'm gonna get to it. Then I plan on reading La Casa de los Espíritus by Isabel Allende, and I've read Isabel Allende's short stories, but I've never read one of her novels, and I've always wanted to. She's praised, she's loved, she's great she's great at writing and i got this from my mom's like book collection and it is beautiful it's an old edition and yeah i'm super excited i also plan on listening to a torch against the night by sabah tahir and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest by steve larson and that pretty much wraps up my tbr i want to pick up more books but I'm not going to mention them in case I don't get to it and then I feel like I have to. But yeah, if you guys want to read any of these books with me, please join me. If you've read any, let me know. And give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. 
I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. Yeah.